Welcome to part 2. In part 1 we made our two hexagons and now we will finish our jacket and start with the seam for the sleeves. Fold both of your hexagons so the wrong sides are outside and the right sides face each other inside. And now we can make our seam. We start at the sleeve and work our way towards the neckline. Wrong side is outside and the right sides face each other inside. Here's the side of the sleeve and we will start our seam in the corner with the second chain and work towards the neckline. So here we have our three corner chains. One, two, three. We will work into the second chain but only into the front loop when you turn. The work you can see the back loop. We will only use the front loops of the two chains and then the front loops of the double crochet. And on the second piece we will only use the back loops. We start with the second chain. As you can see we have the front loop here. Behind it is the back loop, front loop, back loop. So we will only use the back loops of the two chains and the back loops of the double crochet. Go through the second chain of the first piece, front loop only and go through the second chain on the second piece, back loop only. You can make a slip knot. I just pull my yarn through and make a slip stitch. Now we can repeat on the next chains. Go into the chain of the first piece, front loop, and the chain on the second piece, back loop and make the slip stitch. And the same thing for the doubles. Front loop of the double and back loop of the double and slip stitch front loop, back loop and slip stitch and you can repeat that until you get to the chains. And when you turn your work over you get two nice lines that's because we crochet into the front loop and back loop only. Crochet until you get to the chains. I have to slip stitch my last two doubles together. Front loop back loop and slip stitch and here are our three chains and we go into the front loop and that's basically the top loop and the back loop and that's also the loop on top and slip stitch. If you look we go on the loop on top and on top that's the back loop on the second piece. Front loop And I also have to be careful so I don't split my yarn in back loop on the second piece. I had to be extra careful not to split my yarn. I hope you guys have not as much trouble with this as I do. When you get to your doubles, slip stitch the front loop and back loop together of your doubles again. And on the right side you get two lines again. one and two and repeat that pattern when you get to the chain spaces of five slip stitch the five chains together and the double crochet and the five chains and so on let me show you how the right side looks again we get those two lines again i hope you can see those two lines then when you get to your neckline leave 11 stitches empty so i double crocheted my doubles together then i leave three chains empty and eight doubles that's 11 stitches then you can cut your yarn make a chain and sew on your loose end and here is our neckline now you can make exactly the same seam on the other side turn your piece around and then you can start your seam the same way on the other side start at the sleeve and work towards the neckline the next space that we've created is about five and a half inches now. Now keep your jacket on the wrong side because now we will make the seam for our back. The jacket is the wrong side up. Place the two corners together so they face each other right side and start again with the second chain and work your way towards the neckline. Make exactly the same seam that we did on the sleeve. If you want to make the triangle for some extra neck space, leave 8 stitches empty towards the neckline. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and on the second piece. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we're still working in the front and back loops respectively. Make a half double crochet into the next stitch 
in the first piece and a half double crochet into the next stitch in the second piece. Now let's repeat two more times. Make a half double crochet into the first piece and a half double crochet into the second piece. And one more time. Make a half double crochet into the first piece and a half double crochet into the second piece. Now we will make three double crochet into the first piece and three double crochet into the second piece. Make a double crochet into the next stitch into the first piece and a double crochet into the second piece. Let's do it again. Double crochet into the first piece And into the second piece and one more time double crochet into the first piece and into the second piece and now we will make treble crochet yarn over twice one two treble crochet into the front or into the first piece And treble crochet into the back or into the second piece. Remember yarn over twice. And I'm so sorry about the yarn splitting all the time. Yarn over twice, treble crochet into the front or into the first piece and yarn over twice, treble crochet into the second piece. Then we have our chain space left, yarn over twice, go directly into the chain space or the corner space, make your treble into the first piece, and make a treble crochet into the corner space of the second piece. This is how the wrong side looks. And then when you turn it over, this is the right side. And now you can cut your yarn, make a chain and sew on the loose end. This is how the neckline looks. And now we can add rows to the bottom of our jacket to make it longer. Turn your jacket right side out and start in the bottom left corner of the jacket as you're wearing it and then we will go back and forth between the two corners and add length to the jacket. So the jacket is right side up, here's the bottom corner, the bottom of the jacket and we'll start in the corner, I put a slip knot on the hook and then yarn over and make a double crochet into the corner. And another one, so we have two doubles into the corner and now you can repeat the same stitches that you did in the previous round, make doubles where you made doubles and make chains where you made chains and do that until you get to the seam in the middle. Make your doubles, chain three, make seven doubles, chain five, make a double, chain five, double crochet 17, chain five, double crochet one, chain five, double crochet seven, chain three and make your doubles. When you get to the seam in the middle, Make two double crochet into the first chain space, one and two. Then go into the seam and go underneath a couple of pieces of yarn so you get a secure stitch and make a double crochet into the seam. Then make two doubles into the next chain space, one and two. And now you can repeat the stitches on this side the same way that you did on the other side. Make doubles into the doubles and where you made chain spaces, make chain spaces. At the end of the row, make two doubles into the corner space, one and two and start your new row. Chain three, then turn your work over to the wrong side and then make the same stitches that you did before, make doubles where you made doubles and make the chain spaces where you made chain spaces. Now 
Make the same stitches that you did before. Double crochet and chain spaces. When you get to the seam, make the doubles into the previous doubles and then repeat the same pattern on the other side, doubles and chain spaces. And you can finish the row. Double crochet into the last double crochet. And then you can start a new row, chain three, turn your work over and over on the right side again. And now just go back and forth and repeat all the stitches that you made in the previous row. Double crochet and chain spaces and you can add as many rows as you like. And I would like to show you really quickly how to finish this row. We don't have a double at the end, we have a chain of three here. So to make the correct amount of doubles you have to make your double crochet into the third chain. And then start a new row again with a chain of three, turn your work, and then work the same stitches as you did before. I will make five rows, but you can make more. The five rows will add two and a half inches of length to the jacket. Now let's add a pretty border around the jacket. Put it right side up again and start in the lower left corner as you're wearing the jacket. We will go around the bottom of the jacket, up the side, around the neckline and down the other side. Put a slip knot on your hook and make five singles into the last post. For me that's a chain of three, it could be a double crochet for you. Go right around the entire post and make five singles into it and that will be our corner. One, two, three, four, and five singles. Then make singles into the previous double crochet that you made. And it should be an even number. When you get to the chain space of three, make three single crochet into the chain space. One, two, three, then make seven singles into the seven doubles. Now we get into our two large chain spaces. Make four single crochet around the first chain space of five. One, two, three, and four. Single crochet into the double crochet. And make four single crochet into the second chain space. One, two, three, and four. I'm sorry about getting stuck again here. Now we're at our 17 doubles. Make 17 single crochet into the 17 double crochet. After you made your 17 singles into the 17 double crochet, we're at our large chain spaces again. Make four singles into the first chain space, a single into the double and four singles into the second chain space. Then seven singles, three singles into the chain space. And when you get to the middle where our seam is, you should have an uneven number of single crochet that you made into the doubles. Then continue, make three singles into the chain space of three. Then seven singles, four singles, one single, four singles, 17, four, one, and four, and then seven again, and three into the chain space. Then make the singles into your previous doubles, and let's continue with the next corner. Make a single crochet into the second to last double and that leaves that last post again. And we make the same corner as before. Make five singles around the entire post. One, two, three, four, and five. Now on the side, when you look, we have the posts on each row. Single crochet two around each of the posts. Go around the entire post and make two singles around it. One, and two, go to the next post, 
one and two and I have to repeat that two more times so I make two singles around each of the posts until I get to the corner space make two singles into the corner space one and two and then just like on the previous side, make your singles into all of the doubles. After you made the single crochet into your previous doubles, make three singles into the chain space, then seven singles, and into the chain space, make the four singles, the single into the double, and the four singles into the second chain space. Then here are 17 singles, then again four singles into the chain space, one into the double, four into the chain space, seven singles into the doubles and three into the chain space and then make your singles into all of your previous doubles. Now let's crochet around our neckline. Here's the corner space. Make five singles into that. One, two, three, four, and five, then single crochet into your previous doubles. Then single crochet three into the next chain space and that's the chain space next to the first seam. One, two, three singles into the chain space and here's our first seam. Here are our two lines, one, two, right in the middle. Here's our stitch, go right into the middle, try to grab underneath two pieces of yarn and make a single crochet into that. Make sure you have a secure stitch. Then skip to the next chain space and make three singles around that. One, two, and three. Then here doubles again, make singles into all of the doubles. And here's our next chain space of three. Make three singles into that. One, two, three. Here's our next space. You can just skip that if you didn't make it. If you have it, make four singles around that first treble that we made. One, two, three, and four singles around the first post and four singles around the second post. One, two, three, and four. This is how it looks so far. And now we can mirror image the pattern on the other side. Make three singles into the chain space. One, two, three, then single crochet into all of the doubles. Make three singles into the chain space. One, two, and three. And here's our second seam. Go right into the middle, into that stitch. Try to grab underneath two or three pieces of yarn, make a single. Then make three singles into the next chain space. One, two, And three, and then single crochet into all of the doubles again. And make five single crochet into the corner. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you can continue down this side the same way you did the other side. Let's see how our neckline looks. Let's continue. 
Now repeat the pattern that you did on the other side. Make your singles into the previous doubles, three singles into the chain space, then seven, then four into the chain space, one into the double, four into the chain space, then the 17. Then four into the first space, one into the double, four into the second space, seven into the previous double, three into the chain space, and then single crochet into your previous doubles. Make two singles into the corner space, and then make two singles around every of the posts that you made on the side. Finish with two single crochet around the last post. Finish your round. Make a slip stitch into the first out of the five singles that we made into the corner and start the last round. Chain one, then go into that first single crochet again and make another single crochet. Chain three and make a single crochet pico. Grab those two pieces of yarn of the single crochet. Then pull through two loops and through two and we have the three chain single crochet pico. Make a single crochet into the second out of the five singles. And now you can repeat. Go into the third single, make a single crochet, and the three chain single crochet pico. Chain three, go into those two pieces of yarn and make a single crochet, pull through two and through two and make a single crochet into the fourth single that we made into the corner. Go into the fifth single crochet, make a single crochet, three chain, single crochet pico. We make the single crochet picots in the corner to increase our corner and make it bigger. Now go into the next stitch and make a single crochet and we're on the bottom of the jacket. Now go into the next stitch and make a single crochet, three chain and now make a slip stitch picot instead of a single crochet picot. Go into those two pieces of yarn and pull through all three loops and make a single crochet into the next stitch and start over. Make the single crochet three chain slip stitch pico and a slip stitch is so we don't increase on the side. And make a single crochet into the next stitch and one more time go to the next stitch make a single crochet three chain slip stitch pico and a single crochet into the next stitch and you can repeat that until you get to the next corner. And you can work that pattern across the chain spaces as well. Same pattern, go in each of the singles, make the single crochet, three chain slip stitch pico, and a single crochet into the next single. Single crochet, three chain slip stitch pico, And single crochet. Alternate between a single crochet, three chain slip stitch pico, and a single crochet. This is how the bottom of the jacket looks now. Let's make our corner. The last stitch before we start with the five singles should be a single crochet. So we have our single crochet before we start the corner in our five singles. Make a single crochet. 3 chain, single crochet pico into the first single crochet. Remember we make the single crochet pico into the corners and make a single crochet into the second single and repeat. Make the single crochet, 3 chain, single crochet pico into the third single crochet and a single crochet into the fourth single. Make the single crochet, 3 chain, single crochet pico into the fifth single and now we're on the side and we make a single crochet into the next stitch. And now you can go along the side. Now we make the single crochet, three chain, slip stitch, pico on the side. We make the slip stitch, make a slip stitch, pico. And a single crochet. Go to the next stitch, make the single crochet, three chain, slip stitch, pico. A single crochet and you can do that pattern until you get to the next corner and that will be our neckline. Then at the neckline our last stitch again before the corner is a single 
and we can repeat the corner make a single crochet three chain single crochet pico into the first out of the five singles then a single crochet into the second single crochet a single crochet three chain single crochet pico into the third single and that's the last pico we'll make now you can go ahead and make single crochet into all of the other stitches around the neckline just go into all of the singles and make singles and the reason why i want to do it this way is because these picots can feel a little bit prickly around the neck and i kind of think that just single crochet would make it a smoother neckline so we just make single crochet all the way around until you get to the next corner here's how the neckline looks make sure you get into all of the singles and make single crochet into all of them Here's our corner with the five single crochet. Make three singles into the first three singles. One, two, and three. Then make your three chain single crochet pico into the third single crochet. Single crochet into the fourth single. And into the fifth single crochet, make the single crochet three chain single crochet pico. And single crochet into the next single crochet now we're on the side and we can repeat the pattern that we did on the other side single crochet three chain slip stitch pico and single crochet repeat single crochet three chain slip stitch pico and single crochet make your pico stitch and then we have one more single crochet left Let's make a single crochet into that and now our border around the jacket is finished. We can cut the yarn and pull the loop out of the single crochet and thread a needle. Now you can go either into that first single crochet or the one where the pico is coming out of. It doesn't matter. I go into the first single crochet and then top down into the last single where the yarn is coming out of to the back loop and a little back bump. And then I sew in the loose end towards the left. And now our border is complete. And now we can make those same two rounds around our sleeve. Grab your sleeve and we start where we have the 17 double crochet. Put it right side up and I have a slip knot on my hook. And you can make single crochet into all of those 17 double crochet. Make singles into the 17 double crochet. And when you get to your big chain spaces, make four singles into the first space, a single into the double, and four singles into the second chain spaces. Crochet over your doubles, make three singles into the next small chain space, and crochet until you get to your seam. Next to the seam, into the corner space, make one, two singles, and into the seam, make one single. Try to wrap underneath those two pieces of yarn again to get a secure stitch. And then make two singles. In your other corner space one and two and repeat the stitches on the other side make three singles into the chain space of three then four singles into the first big space a single into the double and four singles into the second big space finish with a slip stitch into the single crochet and start the last round chain one and make a single into that same single again the first single and make a three chain slip stitch pico one two three chains and a slip stitch pico so we're making the same pattern that we did on the side of the jacket then make a single crochet next to it and repeat make a single crochet three chain slip stitch pico and into the next stitch make a single crochet and you can make that pattern all the way around and on the other sleeve and then you can make your last single, pull the yarn out, thread a needle, go through the first single crochet, and then top down into the back loop and a little back bump of your last single crochet and sew on your loose ends. Now our jacket is completed. I hope you like it and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.